Alright guys and gals, today I have another mock video for you guys this time. As you guys may have remembered, I posted uh, a uh, first you notice this mock on the main channel and I still have pictures of it on this channel if you guys are watching it on the alternative channel. But um, yeah, so basically this is the second battle of the second, uh, well this is the second part of the second battle of Geonosis series that I was originally doing and this scene took me a little while because of the figure count as you can see there's over a lot there's a lot of figures here I'd estimate there's over a good 300 figures in here and I tried to incorporate a little bit of details I can but as you can see the battle scene takes up most of it and I know that little section of it right there kind of looks a little bit cluttered and jumbled but, you know, we're going to do this little video and show you guys from the Separatist point of view to the Republic point of view. So, since I'm here, let's get started with the Republic point of view. I mean the uh, Separatist, excuse me. So, basically guys, this is the landing of Point Rain scene, as you know. And I know in the original movie, the circle itself was more circular but this is the best I could do with the area I had of well the area I had to work with if I could have extended it at least two base plates more one base plate on that side one base plate on that side I can guarantee you it would have looked a little bit more fuller and plus it wouldn't it would have helped if I would have had maybe two more gunships which I do but I don't have two more ATTEs actually I think there was one more ATTE but yeah, either way, I don't have that many ATTEs. These are the only ATTEs I have. But yeah. So basically, it's the landing of Point Rain, and this is Kenobi's portion of the assault. I used multicolor gunships, because that's all I have, really, except for that one. Because I haven't painted it yet. But I used the lesions that were, you know, appropriate for the battle. Since Anakin Skywalker was there, I used the 501st gunship. I'll be like... Obi-Wan Kenobi was there, I used the 212th. Kaidu Mundi was there, I used the current Song Guard slash Galactic Marine. So I made it to where it matched the commanders, even though it's not really accurate to the original battle. If those were uh, plain gunships, it would look a lot better, I know. But yeah. So basically, they're all here, and uh, Kenobi's men are doing so good, but now Anakin and uh, Kaidu Mundi. All their troops have arrived and they're coming in to assist here. And this is the basically the uh, untouched portion of the battle. All you can see is a ton of supers making their way here. We have an AAT here that's just not touched. None of the AATs are touched, guys. I kind of wanted to do a little bit of a destroyed ATTE thing for one of them, but I just, you know, felt it would have been more appropriate if they're all there. But yeah, and that one Geonosian right there is leading the assault. He has a little uh, communicator right there in his hand. And all of these droids are making their way towards the midway of the battlefield. We have a Hailfire droid on that section there. And over here we have another Hailfire droid, which is making its way towards this side of the battle. And, uh, yeah. Only several Super Battle droids have been destroyed, and they're all in the front section here. There hasn't been any real... Uh, exchange between like the further end of the battle for the clones or the droids and uh, here we got a Geonosian taking fire at a couple of clones ducking behind the Geonosian starfighters and what happened with the starfighters were they were coming down and they were shot down by the cannons on the ATTEs all three cannons are pointing in the opposite direction I got one there one there and one there but yeah all four Geonosian starfighters have been shot down and now all the droids are trying to make their way through the Rebel. That's why there's so many casualties at this point of the battle. As you can see here, all of these droids here are mostly destroyed because of the original charge. Now that more troopers have arrived and come in, they're charging towards the battle. We have a couple of clones here taking cover behind the wreckage of the starfighters. You know, some taking advantage here. We have another Geonosian leading the charge on this side of the battle. That clone's going to try to shoot him. We have a Dwarf Spider droid making its way over the rubble. And we have more droids trying to 
bring around uh, this side of the Starfighter. Sorry for my shadow guys. And then on this side we have just a ton of droids going this way. We have a destroyer droid making its way toward that side of the battle there. And then just more carnage over here. More Genosians trying to make their way into the battlefield, getting over the Starfighters. There's a dead pilot droid from the Starfighter. And then more dwarf spider droids making their way around the wreckage. All these clones have taken refuge behind this destroyed Starfighter and they're they all have rocket launchers on this one. They're all trying to destroy the droids on this side of the battle so they can try to flank the droids from this side. And uh, we got a couple of staps making their way in there. We got four staps here, including this one. And then, basically, we got this little section here where all the Jedi are at. We got Anakin fighting a couple of commando droids. Right there, we have Ahsoka doing her thing, and we have Coyote Mundi under the gunship wing right there. Can hardly see him. Yeah. Then we have Captain Rex coming in here to assist along with Commander Jet. We have a couple of clones who got shot down, and one's right there laying on uh, behind the gunship. We have more clones that are dead here. There's more droids dead because of the Starfighter crash. That's why. It's like that. And then all the clones here are coming in. We have a couple of clones here making their way to the battlefield from the inside of the 212th gunship. They're just shooting there. We got one crouching down and shooting from inside the gunship there, far corner. We have a couple more clones in there. Then we have these clones up here on top trying to get an upper hand. We have. Uh, I believe that is Sergeant Kano. If you look at his eyes right. Okay, no, that's Sergeant Denel. That's Sergeant Kano right there. And they're both on the roof of the gunships taking fire at the droids here. Sorry, guys, it's been a while since I've done a video on a mock this big. Yeah, but we have another guy up here on the top of the ATTE trying to take fire. We have the cannons, as I showed you earlier. We have a ton of clones making their way from the bot from the ATTEs into the battlefield. We have more clones coming from the inside, and actually I'm gonna make my way around here. But yeah. So you just have more clones coming in from the ATTEs and gunships. They're all making their way and charging them towards in. I know it looks a little bit crowded, but the battlefield, a battlefield isn't exactly spacious, even though it looks better, it's not exactly like that. Yeah, but all these guys are coming in from the ATTEs and gunships. We have another guy on top of the ATTE back roof there. He's taking uh, sniper fire. We have Obi-Wan Kenobi, who's still injured. He's taking assessments from uh, Commander Cody and the 212th Medic, my custom. And uh, as a little bit of a twist, I have this perimeter of cannons here. I know there wasn't originally cannons in the actual battle, but I figured, you know, if there was can I could incorporate these somehow. And the cannons are shooting fire over the gunships. That's also another reason why the droids are pretty much destroyed on that side of the battle. We have guys coming in from the 501st gunship here on this side. Guys coming in from right here. There's a whole line of 501st troopers waiting to take orders. There's Sergeant Apo at the time giving orders and over here we have guys coming out from the Coruscant Guard gunship making their way toward the battlefield just a ton of them and we have these guys doing their jobs at the uh, command centers surveying the battle and you know taking casualties and stuff like that and then here there's nothing much going on I added a little bit of rock detail but essentially that's it oh and right here we have this clone He's getting out from the roof of this ATTE, as we saw in the Ryloth episode. He's getting these clones out of there, and they're making their way toward the battlefield. We have the little gate right there from the ATTE. And right there, there's the bottom. You can barely see the troopers from right there. But yeah. So, that being said, 
that's pretty much it guys there's a lot going on here I know it's a bit of a cluster and actually I didn't get a chance to show you this side of the battlefield either but we have these guys coming in from all sides as well we have ARF troopers and uh, regular clone troopers spread out amongst the battlefield as you can see a lot of clones taking refuge and trying to regroup and mount a counter assault right there but yeah so here is a view of the battle from the clones perspective starting out from this side as you can see it's a very long battlefield and if I can get it from the droid side I can but that's it from the side view if you guys look at it that way that's it from the side view and if I could get it from back here, this would be the droid's perspective on the battlefield, a mild perspective. But yeah, can't really get it from that angle. Sorry guys. But yeah, you guys will see more in detail photos when it comes to the in detail video on the alternative channel. Uh, but yeah. So, this is pretty much it, guys. This is pretty much the biggest mock I've done in a while. And uh, it took me a little bit, but uh, with Frosty's help, I got it done. You know, just like the last Genesis mock, a lot of troopers here, but there was a lot of, go of scenery and just a lot of carnage going on here. More than detail, so I know that's going to disappoint some of you. But, at least I did a pretty decent job with the battlefield. I know I could have done a better job on the detail of the battle itself, the scenery. But, you know, this is the last uh, mock duo before uh, my evolution, which is basically um, me saying I'm going to try to do more detail with my mocks as well. I'm going to match the detail with how I do my battlefields, my battle scenes. So yeah, this is pretty much the last mock. Hopefully you guys are going to see like this. But I hope you guys, for those of you that love my mocks like this, you guys really enjoyed this video. And for those of you that didn't, well, hey, you know... You didn't have to watch, but yeah. So thank you guys for watching and sticking around. I will have more pictures of this on the alternative channel, but in the end, I am pretty much uh, happy with the overall turnout of it. I know that portion of the battlefield, I've stated that a couple of times, it could have been less cluttered. And uh, also, this, uh, if you guys didn't know, the uh, clones make their way to the droid foundry. This part of the point rain mock, they win as well, just like the last uh, last scene that I did on Geonosis a couple months back. So yeah, I've done a lot of talking, but thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, bye guys. Uh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, sorry for that uh, early cutoff, but. Uh, I just looked over the first clip and the there was a mess up for a couple of minutes. So for that, those five minutes that I showed you guys, those five minutes of footage, I'm going to try to make that up right now. I'm going to try to go slow. But yeah, here is Sergeant Kano, actually Sergeant Dental, excuse me, Kano's on the other side. Both these guys are on the roof of the 212 gunship. And we got more guys on the inside there. If you guys didn't see those before, they're on the inside there. And then we just have guys coming in, you know, going into the gunship, trying to go through it into the battlefield. We have a ton of scouts right there. We got all these guys coming in, and then we have at the bottom of the 212, at the 212, but they uh, ATTE. We have these clones coming in from the ATTE onto the battlefield. And you got the perimeter of cannons. I know in the original film they didn't have these cannons, but I thought it would have been a nice addition. But there's a ton of cannons here, and they're all taking cannon. They're all shooting out at the perimeter. That's why there is so much carnage at the midsection of the battlefield. And over there, we just have a bunch of five over. 501st troopers taking orders, uh, waiting to take orders from Sergeant Apo at the time. And we have guys from the Coruscant Guard gunship coming in. There we have the little bridge for the TTE getting smushed by the 501st gunship. And 
I'll wait my way around here. Yeah, so that's that. Guy on top of the ATTE. Trying to get the guys from under there out. There's the underside of the ATTE. Nice little view there. And there, and here's the cannon on the top. And then there is an outlook at the battlefield from the clone side perspective of the battle. Alright guys, sorry for that five minute mess up of the battlefield. Although, while I'm still here, I should give you guys a clear view at that side, what's going on over there. But yeah guys, really sorry for the bad uh, quality for five minutes and I'm gonna try to trim that so yeah but thank you guys so much for watching this and uh, hopefully the third one will be a little bit smaller and a little bit easier to do alright guys please rate comment subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye